Hello there from a very wet day at Alton Towers. Today, in this video, it's going to be a little bit different. Rather than going around all of the rides here at Alton Towers, I'm going to focus on one particular thing, or should I say, three particular things. Today's video is going to be about the Retro Squad here at Alton Towers. What is the Retro Squad then? So the Retro Squad has been at Alton Towers since 2021. The original idea for it was to boost the lineup of rides here to help with capacity during the early days of the Covid restrictions in 2021. When the parks opened in 2021 there was still quite a lot of government restrictions on what places like Alton Towers could and couldn't do with their capacity. So Alton Towers thought get free extra rides in, spread the people out and they can get a decent amount of people into the park. Of course now it's 2023 and the Retro Squad are still here. Originally I think the Retro Squad started off with four rides, it's now three rides and in this video I'm going to show you those rides and then give my opinion and Becca's opinion, who's currently filming, about the Retro Squad. Welcome to the video. <laughs> it's a little bit soggy today, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Not a day for coasters. No. That's why we're talking about the retro squad. So it's a random Wednesday in March. It is really quiet at the park today, but it has given us a chance to do this video. But onto the subject in hand, Becca, what do you think of the retro squad? I'm a bit indifferent about them. So I can see why they're there. I appreciate why they did it. However, it feels like we should be looking more at something more permanent now. Yeah. I feel like it was a great idea to start with, but it just doesn't fit for, what, was it three years now? Yeah, third season, yeah. It just feels like we should have been looking at at least one permanent flat ride. Yeah. You know, if they're getting them in because they need them, and you know, they serve a purpose, why are they not investing yeah. in something proper, high, you know, high throughput, something that looks the part, Something that's Alton Towers. Yeah. Like the, these rides are perfect for your travelling fare, like Nutsford, let's say, yeah. or Goose Fair, or Hull Fair. They, they don't shout Alton Towers. No. They've got big flashing lights on them. They've got their real name signage on them. They're obviously very temporary. And Alton Towers, not really a park for, te for temporary rides. You wouldn't imagine it before COVID. COVID changed a lot. Yeah. But for now to be in 2023, no restrictions. Nope. It's a bit weird that they're still here. Yeah, I mean, m the majority of people that visit won't think of them as any different from, you know, any other flat ride, but I think it just doesn't suit the image long term. No, it doesn't. They're, they're just not, they don't scream Alton Towers, do they? And they're not run on a sort of a setting that you would imagine they'd be, on, be run on at somewhere like Nutsford Fair. They're, they're very tamed down and they're not operated yeah. as quickly or as, you know, as thrilling. They are, uh, they do fit in with a more family theme of Alton Towers, but they just, they just don't shout Alton Towers to me. I think it'd work better if all three of them were together and there was like an, a mini area that was just for that and, you know, there was some extra lighting and everything that matched in. Yeah. But I feel like just being scat, well, two of them are together and then you've got one. Funk and fly. Up which by Air Net. Yeah, it's yeah. down by Galactica, Galactica and the Nemesis yeah. construction site, so it's kind of out there on its own. Yeah, so they don't really fit together because of the distance. No. Which does make them feel a bit more. Disjointed. Less yeah, that's the word. <laughs> Becca, what do you see as the solution to the Retro Squad? Are they a permanent thing for towers with the constant changing of the type of rides or do they go with permanent flats? What would you like to see? What do you think they'll do? I'd like to see permanent flats that are themed to the area. Yeah. So something where Funkin' Fly is to go with Nemesis when it comes back. Who knows what 
what they could do down by Oblivion and Spyro because they're a mismatch anyway. But you know, maybe not even two of them there, something a bit bigger yeah. that they could put in that area. I think something that I did see online recently was that someone compared the Retro Squad, his involvement in X Sector is pretty much like when you go to Fantasy Island, when you see one big roller coaster like Millennium there and then you see like temporary rides around it yeah. and I kind of see where they're coming from with that so I think that it would be good to see one or two flat rides in the area with a solid theme and it'd just be good to see everything in that area matched up to all be consistent because like I say Oblivion and the Smiler there couldn't be more of a mismatch in theme in if you tried so adding some different flats in there with a different theme again would totally ruin the sort of the appearance of X Sector further so I think some consistency in the theming of them would be good. I don't see the Retro Squad as a permanent thing at Towers, but I do think Flat Rides have probably got a place here. Yeah. But in terms of Towers' future, I'd like to see another water ride and another yeah. dart ride, definitely. But Absolutely. What would you like to see done at Alton Towers? Would you like to see the Retro Squad stay for another year after this year? Would you like to see permanent Flat Rides or a different solution? Let us know in the comments section below. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you at Alton Towers again in the next video.